To manage distributing and installing this fine product, you as an educator have three basic options. Click Manage, and you can assign users with this link here. Or you can log in on each device and use the Install button to perform a local install. Or to avoid having to log into your Microsoft account on every local device, or if you have any devices without access to the internet, you can download an install file to a thumb drive for local distribution and avoid having to log in each time. So, let's start with Assign Users. Clicking this link will bring up this dialog where you can add the Office 365 Education email addresses for your students. So, I'm going to enter in John and Jane. Anyone on your school domain with these credentials should show up in the list as you enter their email addresses and you can click to select them by name. Click Assign and each one is sent an email with a link and instructions to install Minecraft Education Edition on their device. This is a great way to get students involved in the setup process. By default, Minecraft Education Edition is also added to your private store upon purchase and is available for self-service installation by your students through the Store app on a Windows 10 device. Your admin needs to be sure the Auto Assign Subscription setting is set to On for users to receive a full license from the private store. Otherwise, they will receive a trial license. It's easy. They just click on their Start button, select the Store app, click your Private Store tab, and click on Minecraft Education Edition. Click the Install button and they are adding Minecraft on that device. But how do you know who has been assigned a license? Well, you can see the list of everyone who has been assigned a license here in the Product Manage page. Being the educator also allows you to reclaim licenses when you need to. These three dots over here give you that option like this. So I'm reclaiming the license. This reclaims your license and would return this user to a trial version when they log in the next time. That's the basics of assigning users a license and allowing them to install themselves. The other option is to download a zip file and do a local installation on each device. So let's check that out. From your Manage link, click the three dots once again here, and you see the link to download. Select it, click Download, and you should see a dialog asking you where you'd like to save the file. Click Save, and that should download the file to your default download folder, or click Save As if you'd like to select a specific place to download the file, like the desktop or directly onto a thumb drive. Make your selection and click Save, and a progress prompt should appear allowing you to count down to Minecraft awesomeness. Once you have the install file downloaded and unzipped, You'll also see a text file with instructions for installation on local devices. You probably have done this type of installation in the past. Double-click the installer and follow the prompts to get Minecraft Education Edition installed. Now, because the licenses correspond to each user's Office 365 Education account, even if you do local installations, your Manage page will still keep track of license assignments. So this works great on shared devices or one-to-one -one devices. Thanks for watching this video. We can't wait to welcome you into the Minecraft education community and see what you create with your students. If you have any more questions or need additional information, please visit education.minecraft.net to learn more. Adios.